go. I think part of the reason that I haven't sat down to film this is that I just don't really know what to say. I just don't really know what to say. Um, hi, hello, hi, it's been a while, far and few between that you've seen me the past 23 days. And, uh, I don't know when really is the time to sit down and film and come back. I just don't know. I can't, I go throughout my, my days and when I'm up and doing stuff, I, I think, yeah, I'm ready to come back. I'm ready to talk about all these things I'm going through. Like I can share my story. I can help people. Like there's no better time than now than to, than to, Hey, Mr. Kitty, Mr. Kitty's right here. You come up here, baby. Oh, okay. He's such a big boy. There's no better time than now to come back and, and just be with you guys. Because I know that on one side, like, I just want to be with you guys and, and filming videos and, and sharing my life with you and reading your comments and engaging with you. And, and there's one side of me that just desperately wants to do that. And there's another side of me that just like literally can't. Um, the cats are intrigued that I'm sitting here for the first time in this spot um, to film a video in a very long time. They don't quite know what to make of it. Mr. Kitty's probably going to be all over the place trying to get your attention in this video. He's already rubbing up on everything down here and stuff, but I don't know. I guess now is as good of, time, of a time as ever. So let's just do like a little life update. I don't know. I don't know what else to really make this video about. Um, I have ideas for things I want to talk about, stories I want to share that I think could help people, things I want to talk about that I've been going through, all of that. I have endless content that I want to, that I have ideas on to make, uh, but it's just like, where do you start? And so I feel like this is as good of a way as ever. I feel like it's never going to really feel right. So it's just time to jump back into it. So as you guys know, um, I lost my mom on December 19th, 2022. Um, after a 10 year battle with Alzheimer's. And being that her death happened a week before Christmas, I don't really know that I really even processed or felt much of it until things started slowing down after the new year. <sighs> Baby, come on up here. Be a sweet kitty. Okay, good. So that happened. That shook my world up. It's a really weird thing how like this kind of tragedy affects you because who I am is a strong individual. I have been through so many trials and tribulations and I've, I've, I've faced so much adversity and I have just always come out on the other side and I am strong. I am a warrior. I am resilient to say the least. But with with this situation, and I really don't want to get super emotional in this video. This is part of the reason I also haven't filmed it yet, because I just don't want to get super emotional with you. I, I want to be able to just not. Um, this situation, I feel like, has brought me mentally, like inside, back to a place where I was not any of those things yet like a little girl. I feel like a little girl on the inside right now. And um, because of that, I'm very depressed. Um, 
Mr. Kitty is digging his claws into me. What else is new? Mr. Kitty, please stop, baby. Don't dig your claws into me. I know you're just trying to do good kitty things, but it hurts, I mean, okay? Um, you are just so happy to be the center of attention in the videos again, you guys. Look, Mr. Kitty's having his moment. Everyone say hi to Mr. Kitty in the comment section down below. No, but I can say, and it sucks to say this, and it is painful, the truth, but the truth is that I'm just fucking depressed right now. And I, I mean, it's affecting my motivation. It's affecting like everything. I mean, I've always suffered with depression and anxiety, but I've never been like this before. Like never like this. And it's just a combination of everything that has been going on. Obviously the biggest, most life changing thing, the thing that has shaken me up the most and affected me in ways that I honestly didn't think it was going to because I thought I was prepared for this day is my mom passing. Now there's been other stuff that's been going on too. And it's just almost like because there's so much going on with this situation with my mom that there's no room for anything else to go wrong because if it does I'm just gonna lose it and oh god Jesus I don't want to cry in this video I don't want to fucking cry in this video I don't uh like there's just there's been relationship issues that I've been going through and I want to tell you guys about those and I will tell you guys all about those in a separate video, um, but I was done pretty pretty wrong here recently, and it's partly my fault because I know the deal about getting involved with people that I work with. I know, but I did it anyway, and so I'm taking accountability and ownership for that part of it. But the rest is it's it's honestly pretty painful and pretty hurtful and i will go into that in a video in the future when the time is right but um i've also been going through that and i feel like when it comes to relationship issues i've always been a very sensitive person and i've always been somebody who uh doesn't take rejection very well and uh, i feel like because of the other stuff that I'm going through, that's just amplified by a lot right now. And so that was really affecting me too. I think I'm in a little, I think I'm in a better place as far as that goes. It's really hard to differentiate why the feelings of the depression are there. Is, is part of it still because of this issue with this guy? I want to say no, because I'm, dating i'm moving on i know that person wasn't shit i know that they're gonna get their karma i know that i treated them very well and all of that but it's just hard to say like if it's like what where it's stemming from because right now i just feel depressed but i it can't pinpoint the reason there's been a lot of darkness lately and uh, so basically I'm depressed, I'm not well. <laughs> I'm doing the best that I can. Um, and talking about me doing the best that I can, I have made some very important decisions for me uh, pertaining to my mental health and how I can heal from everything that has happened to me, not just this past couple months, but throughout my entire life. 
and oh fuck dude I've made the decision to um finally do what I have to do to sign up for health insurance and pay, go ahead and pay that monthly thing because I don't I'm not offered health insurance through my job so I currently do not have health insurance I have vision insurance because I'm blind as a bat but I do not have health insurance so I have made the decision to spend the money that I need to on health insurance to get me in to help me get into therapy and to help me um go see a psychiatrist to get um, medication for ADHD. I have not been formally diagnosed with ADHD, but anybody who knows me well can tell you that I am textbook ADHD um, in women. Women, it presents themselves, it pres uh, I can talk, it presents itself very differently in adult women than it does in adolescents or even, um, even men, adult men, it presents itself very differently. But if you know, um, anything about adult women who suffer from ADHD, I am very textbook um, ADHD. Uh, and so I'm going to be working with a psychiatrist to get diagnosed um, officially and formally, and then working to get on some sort of something to help me regulate. Because the way that I have been living my life is just kind of chaotic um, and it's not I f like my brain doesn't ever turn off the only time I can get my brain to stop racing and running and having anxious thoughts and having and overthinking situations and doing all of these things is is when I'm like eating an edible and I just get super crazy high. And, and even then my brain still races. Um, I believe, now I have not been formally diagnosed, so I can't say that like for sure this is what it is, but I believe that I have something that a fair amount of people um, who have ADHD, specifically women suffer from, which is called RSD, Rejection Sensitivity Dysphoria. Uh, actually, if you guys follow Jen Love or Jen Love's reviews or whatever she goes by now, um, she actually talks about her ADHD and how rejection is a big uh, thing with that for her. Oh, by the way, this is not set up how I want it to be set up. I, this is the present that I got for my subscribers, this little light here. It's not, I need to get batteries for it and all that stuff, but... That's, thank you so much for sending the little cat, it's a light, the cat light, and all of this will be set up eventually. Um, but yeah, RSD. So um, basically, rejection sensitivity dysphoria. Basically, what that is, is because of the way my brain is wired, or I won't say specifically mine because I haven't been officially diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure that this is what this is. Um, just a, I mean, just knowing how I've lived my life and how things have affected me throughout the course of my life, I think this might, this has to be what this is. Um, I, when any kind of rejection hits my way, whether that's criticism from um, a teacher back when I was young, or an employer, or um, or something, or whether that's rejection. Um, for like a re like relationship rejection like from a guy or something they're like I feel like the neurotypical person gets upset at rejection gets sad at being rejected but they're able to kind of keep moving forward right it doesn't it kind of stings but it doesn't majorly impact how they move or what they do um, for me, when I'm rejected specifically with relationships, but it doesn't just have to be that way because when I think about when an employer gives me feedback, it's criticism, you know, I, I overthink and I get paranoid that I'm going to get fired. And I just like go into like panic mode. Right. Um, specifically with, re with relationship stuff, if a man tells me that he is 
not choosing me or that he doesn't want to see me anymore or I get ghosted by someone I'm really into or something the pain the normal how a person should react I think is to be like oh we'll be sad about it but then like no there's other fish in the sea know that it, you know whatever for me that kind of rejection hits me like a freaking like punch to the chest it feels like someone like takes a hammer and slams it into my heart and they use the term dysphoria because dysphoria is greek for unbearable pain and that really is the best way that i can describe it um it is an unbearable pain that i experience when i am rejected in any kind of way and you can even if you want to you can even trace that back into how i reacted with certain friendships ending that i've had on the internet right it's not that i'm crazy it's not that i'm just too sensitive it's just that the way my brain is wired i i truly do believe that i am neurodivergent and that my brain does not operate in the same way as a neurotypical brain and so that has made dealing with the ups and downs of life extremely challenging for me and i have just pushed through and even though i'm suffering i've just pushed through and i haven't known what to do about it and i haven't known or put together the the dots that this could be actually this underlying issue like underlying symptom of me having something like a condition in my brain that makes me neurodivergent i never i never really put the two together before i've said in the past you know adhd adhd whatever and I've, I've, I've said that i had it or i thought that i had it before but when i was thinking about it before i was thinking about it in the in the terms of just you know getting staying focused and getting through tasks and everything and i wasn't thinking of it as it pertains to the more debilitating effects of it because I didn't understand it enough and I've been doing some reading um through audible like audiobooks on this and watching a lot of um informative content on YouTube from like doctors and stuff on this and um I've made the decision to take the steps to um get diagnosed um and get treatment for this through therapy and through medicine if i need to because i can't continue living my life in the way that i have because it's just simply not going to work for me it's just simply not going to work anymore living my life like that is just simply not going to work anymore i have to make a change i have to because this tragedy that I just experienced with my mom pass passing is like I have to get help I have to get help it all ties together I have to get help for what's going on in here because if not I don't know if I'm going to make it through so I'm finally giving in to the things I've always said about not wanting to put prescription drugs in my body like that and wanting to do things more holistically. I'm finally giving in to spending the money on health insurance. Um, Cause I would always have said like, you know, I'm a physically fine individual. I don't really have any major health problems and stuff. So I don't really need it. Well, maybe physically, my body is in shape but up here it's not and so up here is what i need to i need to pay the money to get to start working on that because this isn't healthy this part of me is not healthy and that is very very important um other than that um i let's just like life update so um I'm going to be going to da uh, not Dallas to Tampa. I'm going to Tampa to see my dad on my birthday. My birthday is the 29th of January. So I will be flying out to Tampa that day 
and I will be um, spending a couple days there with my dad and his wife and my grandma um, over there and um, just really kind of seeing family and just getting away, getting a change of scenery. I really need that. I really, really need a change of scenery. And so that's gonna help, I hope, um, in ways. Um, I'm got a bit of drama going on at work right now, but I'm hoping that I've put that past um, me and that everything is just gonna be kind of fine moving forward. However, I have started contemplating next moves if something doesn't happen to work out. I'm just that person who always has a backup plan, who always is thinking three, four, five steps ahead. So I have started, um, you know, putting feelers out for something might not work out. Um, yeah, and that's kind of what's been going on. Um, I'm unmotivated. Uh, get I can't tell you how how hard it was and how many days I've been saying I'm gonna get up and make this video. I can't tell you how many days I have sat on that couch right over there and just for hours saying I'm gonna get up and film this video and I just haven't. My work out my working out my health fitness journey has kind of come to a little bit of a halt the past couple weeks. Um, I just quite honestly, I wake up and I go sit out here because I don't have a TV in my bedroom for that reason because I know I won't even get out of bed if I have a TV in there. I get out of bed, I go sit on the couch and I just sit there. And I just go from Twitter to Instagram to my game to now a couple different dating apps back there again. And there's just no, it's been hard to find motivation to do anything else besides that. And I'm hoping that changes. I'm going to give myself the credit where it's due that I finally got up and did this. Is my hair done? Not really. Are my teeth even brushed? No, they're not. Am I wearing a bra? No, I'm not. But I'm sitting here in front of the, in front of the camera and I'm filming the video. And so I have to acknowledge that credit where it's due. Um, and just say, and just know that's a step in the right direction. Um, on top of everything else that has been happening, I just lost a friend. Zanaya, you guys might know Zanaya through Rich Lux's music videos or just videos in general or seeing her on his Instagram or just being around in that circle. She's gone, she's no longer with us. She had a very bad stroke and she, um, there was no brain activity left. So she's no longer with us. And um, although I can't, I'm not gonna sit here in front on camera like I was her best friend or we hung out all the time or we talked all the time because we did it, we did it. But what I do know is that she was such a fucking queen and such a fucking warrior. And she was such a good person and she is just gone too soon. That has been tough also. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna sit here in front on camera like I'm, I was best friends with Zanaya or that like we hung out all the time. We didn't do any of that. We didn't hang out all the time. I only saw her at stuff with uh, for Rich and we talked on Instagram occasionally and stuff. We weren't super close, but it's just when you see someone who was a great person like that and go, it's just heartbreaking. 
and so that has been a little bit sad too and it's been affecting me too it's just too much loss you know but it's just too much loss and too much suffering so anyway When will be the next time I record a video without crying? I don't know. And that's another reason why I haven't been filming that many videos because I'm like, people don't just want to see me crying all the time. Like you guys want to see me laugh. You guys want to see me smile. You guys want to see me do all these things. And there has been moments of that laced in to this crippling fucking depression. But I think that this is real life. This is what I'm going through. And it's not happy right now. I want to thank uh, public, I guess like on this floor, I don't even know if this is appropriate, but my ex, Devante, he wasn't my ex, he wasn't my long-term ex that I always talk about. He's somebody I, I honestly don't even know if I've ever mentioned here on this channel, channel before, but his name is Devante. And he has been such an incredible help to me. Um, he's actually the reason I found motivation to get up and do this today. I was texting him and he was like, well, what can you do to like get motivation within yourself? He was like, break it down. Like, what can you do? Can you, can you start typing up what you want to say in your video? And then maybe that'll give you the motivation to do it. He was like, what? think about what you can do right now and I told him I can get up to the I can get up and go get a diet coke from the kitchen that's pretty much all I think I can do <laughs> and he was like how about you go check your mail and I was like you know what I mean I could do that that's not the hardest thing in the world to get up and go check the mail right so I did it I put some pants on <laughs> and I walked down to the mailbox, I checked the mail. And what happened when I checked the mail? I saw a six month supply of birth control that I bought to start taking for this guy that I was talking to that I'm not talking to anymore. So that's there. Um, and I also found a card from a close family friend sending their condolences and that put a smile on my face. Uh, and I also got a, like a little check for a refund for my old apartment complex. And for some reason, just going down to the mailbox and coming back up from there and seeing, you know, oh, let me deposit this little check. It was like $30. Like, let me deposit this little check into my savings account real quick. For some reason, that was the spark that said, okay, now I'm up, what else can you do? And so before I let myself sit back down on that couch and wallow some more, I came over here and I, I moved the lights out where I put them when I film and I sat down to film. And I did it. And I'm here now and I'm, I'm proud of that and I'm, I thank Devante for that because I'm not sure if I would have done this if he wasn't able to break it up for me and say like, you're focusing on doing everything, focus on what you can do. And he, and he helped me with that. He also is the one who's helping me with the insurance and getting all that in order. He's been an amazing help to me. And so if, if you watch this video, thank you, because I don't know I don't know that I could have done this today without you. And I don't know how I would be coping or getting through a lot of stuff that I've been going through right now if it wasn't for you. Honestly. And that's such a random, it's a, it's a person that I honestly didn't think would have this much of a positive effect and help me through what I'm going through. But he has. And so I th thank you. If you watch this, Devante, thank you. You're amazing. <laughs> but yeah, I think that is my update. This is a 30 minute video. Jeez, oh my God. If there's stuff that I've missed, I don't know. But I think in summary, 
I'm depressed as hell and I'm trying to get myself out of it. My Oh, by the way, my aunt is bringing my mom's ashes up finally. Um, they The process just got complete and she's I, she's gonna bring my, aunt, my mom's ashes up to me on the 21st. So there's that. Um, and uh, yeah, so in short, I'm depressed, but I'm working through it. I'm taking the steps I need to, to be better for myself, um, positive affirmations and meditating and um, you know when the negative thoughts come in I'm trying to do my best to turn them around and to, to block them out and say no you're doing the negative thinking pattern again you need to stop working out hasn't been going so great lately uh, but it'll get back there you know um, and I'm just doing the best that I can I'm just holding up basically is the best way I could put it. So that's my update. I have a million ideas for shorter videos. I want to, or maybe not even shorter, but just video topics that I want to expand upon within the things I talked about in this video. The situation with that guy, more about the ADHD, um, some dating story times and stuff that I want to share, but that'll be for different videos whenever I get the motivation to film them. So send me some love, send me some words of encouragement. Um, I could use your love and I could use the virtual hugs. <laughs> so um, thanks guys. Uh, I don't even know how to end my videos anymore. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.